All right. So my next target is implementing this uh, fire in uh, NPC character with the flamethrower and set him uh, on fire. That's the next target. But before that, I have to solve some issues that I have with the NPC characters. Uh, well, it's a bug actually. So as you can see here, you can see two guns when we have some uh, NPC character placed in the world. So that reason is I don't know why it happens. I think it's a bug. But this child character keep duplicating and we can't really select the attached the real child character because it automatically selects the parent but if you you the one you can select is this uh, automatically spawned child characters so first yeah that's a problem so you can delete him like this if you have some weapons flying around the sea that could be the reason and the next thing is shooting so uh, shooting is not very accurate uh, sometimes it happens sometimes not so for example see that hit is detected but for some reason when I shoot over here it's not really detected so if I go closer you can see these line traces are ending very close uh, to the character right so uh, if I open the main gun blueprint here I have enabled this is uh, if I go to the fire let me open the fire event so here I have this emit bullet uh, event called so if I go to the implementation of that one this is the function here I have enabled the debug type for duration so that I can see the line trace so here we are doing a line trace from the nozzle of the gun to the uh, target location that we retrieve from the character so this gives us the point that will be hit if we do a line trains from the middle of the camera to the point that is in the world space in the middle of the screen so we get it like this for the player character we have this get target location function from the player controller we get control rotation and get the forward vector and also we get the world location of the camera and do a line trace forward so here as if we hit some object as the target location we give uh, that impact point plus uh, hit normal multiplied by minus 10 and added to that point vector the reason to do that is I thought like it so to make sure that it hits the object we have to instead of giving the exact point of line trace hit we have to give some point behind that so that's why I did it but I think accidentally this thing has been reverted uh, let's try plus 10 <coughs> no, that's not working either so he here also you can see the line trace ends uh, in the middle it's not really reaching the character so I don't think the problem is in the in the value instead of minus 10 let's try minus 50 right now that works so it's about the value actually but if I go closer you can see I'm actually pointing to the head of the character 
but i am getting hit somewhere else. that that's actually related to the part of it is related to the um, sway of the gun as well i think not really there is a clear difference so i need to know why okay so to know that uh, uh here shall we add a debug type for duration change the color so we sh this should give us a better idea we can change the trace color let's use blue for the trace color of the git target location <coughs> right now this actually point to the mint but the gun shoots here okay okay so I think that's because of this value I give here so let me again change it back to minus 10 and see if that make any difference yes it does so again so I think the reason should be mm -hmm. so this out hit impact normal this is not what I think it is oh no actually I am correct so here this is what's happening let me draw a simple diagram here this is the flow and when I do the line trace the blue oh wait this should be black this is the flow right and when I do the blue line trace from camera let's say it's like this so it hits here and from here I get uh, I get this uh, out hit impact normal this is the impact point and impact normal is like no impact normal is like this perpendicular to this surface and to the impact point I add a vector multiplied by minus 10 this impact normal multiplied by minus 10 and add it to the impact point that means it gives me uh, when I add to this point it gives me uh, along this line in the other direction minus 10 units away from a point away from this impact point so that's what I am getting here now when I shoot with the gun um, the gun shoot from here to here line trace and I get as the hit point I get somewhere over here this is the hit point I get so that's why I always have this small disparity small difference between this blue point and the red point see see that's the difference I get okay so again the reason to add this minus 10 is because I needed to make sure that I am getting a point inside whatever the surface I shoot so that uh, the gun will always hit that point right now shall we 
what if I completely get rid of this part will that do any hits see it doesn't do any hits at all so that's why I need to have that component right in that case uh, uh, again let me try with minus 2 here and also let me disable this line trace because it's becoming hard to clearly see okay with minus 2 it works but it didn't work before see for stuff like character it doesn't work you can see the end of the shoot okay so am I hitting the capsule here let's mm, enable the visibility of the capsule of this guy and on the collision presets capsule ignore the visibility and also ignore the bullet tracer as well so i am not actually hitting the capsule here but i changed this one to camera so this must be hitting the capsule so let me again change this to bullet trace right it is working now all right let me try again the weapons right it is working great okay now that I have solved that problem I can look into the matter in hand which is what I needed is to implement shooting with the flamethrower and set the character on fire and i'll do that in the next episode so thanks for watching project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye